there, long time no see. I'm back with a new review for the Red 7. It's a small card game with just some colors, numbers and simple rules. Let me show you. Let's take a look how the game works. So, this is a free player game setup. Each player has its own palette. There is already one card in each player's palette. Here we have the canvas. The canvas dictates the rule of the round. We have some uh, reference and turn guide, so you can see what you can do on your turn. And you can also see all the colors represented in the game and all the rules that match the colors. And the highest color here is red. Red is most important and violet is less important. Here we have a deck of cards that are with a range from number range from 1 to 7 of those 7 different, different colors as you can see here each player will also get his own hand consisting of 7 cards so for example I have this hand here and we can start playing let me take the deck away from here for a moment so basically what you can do on a turn first of all you can play a card from your hand to your palette. You can discard a card from your hand to the canvas to change the rule. Or you can also play a card to your palette and discard a card to the canvas to change the rule. And the fourth is that you can just pass. So first of all, playing a card uh, to, the, to your palette and what's, what's all the meaning of playing cards? Uh, you have to play the cards so that you are winning uh, the game or winning the round at that point. For example, the first rule at the setup is the red, the highest card wins. So, and during the setup we uh, put one card in each player's palette. So the next player of the highest number starts. So right now the highest number here is six. So, and it's, um, it's that player's turn. So, his choice, for example, is to play a new card from his hand to, to the palette, to his palette, and it should be a higher number or the same number, but higher color. So, for example, I look at my hands and like I, let's see, I don't have any sevens here. But if I play this card here, it's an orange 6, uh, let's see, the orange is mo more important than the violet. So, if I play the orange 6, we have the same number, highest number, but orange will win. So, for example, I will play that card here. And that's it, I'm winning the current round, then the play goes to the next player. And he has to do something. So you can just play your cards to, to the palette and um, you don't have to change the rule, but you have to be winning then. And now let's say um, there's the next player and maybe he wants to change the rule. So you can discard a card from the canvas to change the, change the game color and to change the game rule. Um, and he looks in his hand and he sees like, for example, let's see, for example, there's the rule, um, but rule, as you can see here, most cards below four. So let me play, for example, this card here. Now I have one card below four and it's a uh, number three and it's yellow. Uh, then I will change the rule into most cards below four. Now, as you can see here, the situation is that player number one doesn't have any cards below four. Then the player number two and player number three have both one card below four. So there's a tie. Uh, when there's a tie, first of all, you will compare numbers. Uh, let's see, the highest card 
Evo 4 is free and he has the same. So that's the tie also. Now after that we'll compare colors and as we can see here yellow is higher than blue so the yellow card wins and so that player wins the round and the play goes to the next player. Now he can play according to that rule if he has for example what would be the the only choice for him would be to play a red or orange free to, to the to the palette and so on and so sorry this was this was the uh, playing card from uh, from your hand to the palette and discarding a card to the canvas to change the rule or you can just change the rule but the, the thing is if you just change the rule you just play the card into the canvas and um, let's let's say for example he already has that Let's say, let's say right now, that's the situation. He has uh, two violet cards, number six and number one. And he will just do something with the rule. Let's see. Yeah, we have that card. We have most of one color. And then he'll place that over here. Now the rules change to most of one color. Let's see. He has two of the same color and there are one on one so now he wins that round and that's really simple and you play your rounds until uh, all the players but one are eliminated so and there are some advanced rules also uh, for example you can play with the uh, advanced rule of discarding card to the canvas and drawing a new card the, the thing in the basic game is that you have seven cards and that's it. You cannot draw anything, you're just playing like we're playing one game and the other game. But you can also play with the scoring. And the thing is, whenever you uh, discard a card to the canvas, for example, uh, right now, let's, let's just do something else. For example, like that. And now... Um, the player number one discards that yellow color, most most one color rule to the canvas. If the number of the discarded card is higher than the, than the count of cards you have in the palette, you can draw a card. That is the thing. If he would play, if, if, if this would be like that, and he would play number two, he would not get a new card. That's the first rule. The second rule is that when all the players are eliminated, then you look at the last rule that you uh, have won with, and you get all the cards associated with that rule, and you put them under your reference guide, and this is your score. And there are also the scorings here so with two players you get 40 points you win three players you get 35 points and so on and the final thing is that you can play another like advanced rule some cards have symbols like that here that are sort of a extra extra rules they're, they can be found on the back here. So you can play with them. So whenever you play a card into your palette and it has that icon, you must do that icon. Sometimes you draw an extra card or you steal a card from another player's palette or you play another card from your hand or you discard a card from, the, from your palette to, to, the, to the canvas. So there are many things that you can do. So, what are my thoughts on this game? Hmm. Um, let me tell you upfront, I really like this game. First of all, it's a small box, small card game. I like all sorts of card games. They managed to put a deep game inside a small box. I appreciate that. There are colors, numbers and simple rules like highest card wins, most cards in, 
in a row, uh, most of one color, most of different colors, that's it. After a few plays or like when you are familiar with the game, you will start the, to uh, see that approach, the different approach, like strategical and tactical approach. Because first of all, when you're looking at your hand, and you will, you will not think like, I just want to win the round. You think uh, that, how can I win the round, mess with my opponents, and then build up to my next play, to my next uh, turn. So, you're thinking like, alright, so if I put that card into the palette, I will win with the rule that is present there. But maybe I want to get a new card in my hand, so I have to discard something into the canvas and then get a new card there. Yes, you will just refresh your hand, you will you'll play more cards in there. But you will refresh your hand, maybe you will get a card that you really need. Then you can also just discard a card into the canvas and make a new rule and, and win with that. But if you will not build up your palette, if you will have fewer cards, when, it, when it's like played already, like few turns, and you have fewer cards and your opponents have more cards, they have more options. That's the thing. You just, you're holding lots of cards in your hand and they are holding only a few, like two cards and you're holding five cards. What, what you're gonna do with those five cards if you haven't built up your palette to the future? Like you, in the future you will need to play that rule or that rule and you have fewer options. So you need to plan ahead a lot. And yes, it's, it's a luck based sort of way because the cards you get at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of the round are random. And uh, sometimes you get a hand like, oh, what am I gonna do now? I know I, I haven't seen the, the game that, uh, yeah, I, I've seen once that after like first or sort of turn, one player couldn't play any more cards. He had like six cards in his hand and he lost only once. And we played it already, I don't know how many times, maybe like 15 times. It happened only once. So I, I think it's just that, that random factor is interesting because you're like getting your cards into your hand and now I really, what I really love in the hand management and in, in other card games like what I'm gonna do with what I'm stuck with I got those cards let me now figure out how can I play them the best way and that's it, that's the whole game here and it's really, it's so simple, it's so fast it gives you that strategical feel, tactical feel and you want to outguess your opponents. And if you lose, you lose. You don't feel like after a bigger game, like three hours, four hours game, you feel like I lost something. Yeah, like I had I had done so much and for nothing. In this game, I lost a round. Oh, whatever. You can play with that uh, advanced. Like some some cards have the abilities. You can play with that. You can just play one round after another, you can play for the points, so you choose. Ah, and also, uh, the thing about the box. The box is um, not so good quality here, and it doesn't hold sleeved cards. So we managed to uh, get that deck box. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, uh, the cats... Uh, I know what's doing the gap and rainbows and it holds all the cards well it's quite thematic for that game so I don't know it's just a, it's a small card game travel game so why not to put it into deck box and you can throw the original box away because just don't need that I think no so whatever